Well, this is going to be an experience. This is going to be, let's call it my first official trip on the Via Rail, the Canadian railway system, because I slightly remember taking the train from Toronto to Niagara Falls. I'm pretty sure that was the Via Rail, but to be honest, that was so long ago and I have really no memory of it. So I'm going to treat this as my first time ever taking the train in Canada. I'm here in Quebec City and I'm going to be going to Montreal, which is about a three and a half hour ride away. For reference, I did look into what it would cost to fly and it wasn't too much more. Like I paid about 50 Canadian dollars for this ride and to fly, I think it was 80 to 100. But the thing with flying is that if you have to check a bag, it's going to be an extra $30. So in my case, it would be like 140 altogether. And then you also need all the additional time and money to get out to the airports, which are usually just out side of the city whereas with taking the train usually the stations are in the downtown center so it's much easier to get to the station you don't have to come so far ahead of time and also it'll be easier for me to get to my accommodation in Montreal when I arrive so for that reason I think it's actually more convenient in this case to take the train so that is what I decided to do I don't really know what to expect with the Canadian railway system I think it would be much different if I was going for a very long journey and maybe I will do that sometime, but for a three hour trip, you know, I think it should be fine. I think it should be a positive experience. So without any further ado, I have a train to catch. Let's head to Montreal. So welcome to the Via Rail station here in Quebec City. Via Rail is a state-owned passenger railway system here in Canada that was incorporated in 1977 and now has more than 500 trains per week from coast to coast. While it is a fairly popular way to travel for shorter journeys like the one I'm taking today, most Canadians tend to fly from city to city if the journey is going to be over seven hours. Canada is the second largest country in the world and we aren't privy to bullet trains just yet, so it would take about six days straight to cross Canada by train at this point in time. To book a ticket on Via Rail, you can easily do so online, which is what I did, but of course you can also come into the station and get a ticket there. Overall, from my experience of looking on their websites, tickets don't tend to fully sell out for certain journeys, but the more the tickets sell out, the more expensive the tickets become. I was able to get my seat for the lowest price of $50 for this journey because I booked two to three months in advance. So depending on how busy the train is, you might be left with much more expensive tickets if you leave it till the last minute. As far as first impressions go, I found the cabin to be quite nice, very spacious, nice seats. I was also impressed to see that they had an actual menu of what they would be serving aboard and all the options that you had. Only thing I didn't love is that I was moving backwards in the seat that I had, but I think when I booked the ticket, I remember it saying that this is a seat that would be facing backwards. I don't know how all that stuff works. If sometimes trains are moving forward, sometimes they're moving backwards. It's a little bit confusing, but at least they tell you ahead of time. Um, and that's probably why I got such a cheap ticket, but it was fine. It was fine. From what I saw online, it looks like Via Rail trains go at a maximum speed of 160 kilometers per hour when they're outside of city centers. So of course that is pretty fast and much faster than a car journey would be, but if you compare it to, well, let's say a Shinkansen bullet train, which goes an average of 320 kilometers per hour, I believe it is, top speed outside of city centers, you know, that's more than double. <laughs> I know it's not really fair to make that comparison because of course Japan is a much smaller country with a much larger population than Canada has and plus a lot of people in Canada have cars for the three to five hour sort of journeys as well. So we can't have the same nice things that Japan has but for what we do have it is actually quite nice. As always on my train review videos I gotta show you guys the bathroom so the one here on Via Rail actually quite nice very spacious was the first thing i noticed where it is you know handicap accessible a wheelchair could fit in here everything was very clean lots of safety bars very nice 
But now let me share with you guys what I was most impressed with on this train journey, which was the selection of food and snacks that they had on board. I got their vegetable box and I was just so happy that they had hummus, guacamole, healthy crackers, veggies, even the hot coffee was actually pretty good. You guys know I've had lots of horror stories with other train journeys where either the food was terrible or there was no food. So of course it is always better to pack some food with you in case you don't like what is on board. But as far as what Via Rail had, I was actually quite impressed. And that really was it guys. That was the whole three and a half hour train journey. It went by really fast. And before I knew it, we were pulling into the main central station in Montreal. Well, that was great. Don't really know what to say. <laughs> it was even more comfortable than I anticipated. The seats were great. I liked the really big windows. The speed definitely got us here a lot faster than it would have been driving. And for $50, I mean, that was probably the lowest I could have gotten that ticket. I feel that's an extremely reasonable price for Canada. So a very good first experience. We'll see if I do any longer sort of journeys um, in the future. But as a start, that was very nice. Let me know your thoughts though let me know if you guys have ever traveled on the via rail from where to where and what was it like for you i am very excited to be here in montreal now though this will be my second time visiting so i'm excited to explore some parts that maybe i didn't get to last time so as always thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you're having a fantastic day and as always keep being your own kind of beautiful bye guys